Hello my friends, it's episode 29. I think the first thing I need to do is determine if there's a bazaar on the next map or not. Because if there's a bazaar, then I want money. And if there isn't a bazaar, then I'm not going to bother. After a thousand years of conflict, what was, all, what was the ultimate triumph over mortality became a battle between... No, okay, okay. After a thousand years, an Elfham Millennium War has resumed. With Donar's intervention, we now have new tools available to us. These powers can be used at any time and don't affect a squad's turns. You can use to teleport squads, render a squad invincible, drop a divine meteor on the enemy, and more. For my power, the power of Donar is available. Let's try to use it. It will refresh any one of our squad's turns, allowing them a second turn within our phase of battle. There is a bazaar. There is a bazaar, so we do want to do the arena. Because we want the money. Friendly squad resists 50% of all damage for one entire phase and enemy phase. Enemies will always target this squad. Refresh your friendly squad, giving them another full turn during the same player phase. This is not this is not invincibility. This is 50% damage reduction, which is not the same. For my people, for my homeland. Getting real thirsty here. I must stay strong. Donar be with us. They have like conversation bowls over their heads. Use a Nephilim power. Okay, that's the challenge. Not much of a challenge. Eleven turns. That seems like plenty of time. Right, anyway, let's get out of here. Okay, there is a bazaar, so we do want we do want that money. He's water. It's a pretty bad trait for a leader who doesn't use magic. Light would be the ideal affinity for any leader, but I don't have it. Thank you. 
He's not quite there yet. used her because she had good leadership. Oh, so fiddly. Okay. Trained some fine leaders in this squad. Okay, um... to actually go into the squad. Okay, so I have the full army back now. So now it's time to decide on proper leaders for things. These three are already set up. Well, everyone here is already set up as a leader of some description. So these ones will not change. after we must get Lysander back at some point because his equipment is still equipped to him I presume that I can just pull it off here if I want to add strength magic and reduces cap so that's perfect
How much to add a unit? Five? Fifteen, fifteen, and fifteen. Fine. We'll do it this way because of the how cheap it is for her to have Nibbler. Okay, so a healing squad backed up by dragons. I just have to switch the dragons in training around. Okay, why not? Doesn't use any uh, cap. Sure, that doesn't use any cap either. Uh, not worth it. Strength minus two, armor and magic plus three, and ten percent dart resist. Sure. Okay, so that's one squad sorted. Go ahead and disband this one as well. Gonna rationalize my stuff now, I've got it all back. still imagine a world where, uh, oops. I still imagine a world where this is a healing unit primarily. Because you don't want to use the main character in battle, because what if he gets focus fired? Do you just lose the game? Which is not, or shouldn't be, top of the list of your priorities. Classes can you change to? So fiddly, okay. Um
A sorceress with 18 strength. What are you missing to become a Valkyrie? Nothing. Just the necessary skill. And a sunstone, but I'll, I can get more of those. Once again, just missing the sunstone. Missing four strength. Okay, I'm going to... Not that I have, like, the greatest amount of these left. But this is not going to happen otherwise. Oh, I'm still missing the sunstone, so I needn't have bothered. Oh, well, whatever. So I need to get three sunstones. Uh, how much is the refuge? Four. I should keep this for expanding squads. Let's equip it for now so I can have refuge on. Okay, so I need three sunstones and then this is like Rider of the Valkyries, the squad. It's useful because in a pinch, I can use this squad for charge attacks, while it generally being a highly mobile healing squad. And it's got enough cavalry in it to count as cavalry, so that's good. Okay, obvious. You know, there's just no, there's no help in this game in terms of, like, being able to sort things. It would be nice to be able to sort these by leadership. Okay, well, this guy is set to be a leader, so let's just go ahead and set him down as well. Okay, who else is leadership material? This knight. He doesn't have any leader trait though. This scout. This hussar. It's also a question of, like, how many squads do you really want? Squads. 
squads are gonna get weaker as you move stuff around. Six and four, ten. There's an extra cavalry unit here that would be worth a grab. So uh, let's do this next. I'm guessing what I want to do is uh, make a spear wall, upgrade them to centurions at some point, uh, sentinels, sorry. When they have enough strength I should upgrade them all to sentinels to make a rock solid front wall for her. Maybe I should then add DPS in the back row. Hulk smash the army. Ah, uh, you know, Templar uses that. That sunstone. Maybe I should temporarily take those away.
Eight plus nine is the cheapest, which is... Um... Seventeen. Not hard math. Seventeen... Might be possible. Should never have the strength for that. Actually, I don't need that. I can add that though, because it doesn't cost anything. I think a Valkyrie would fit better here, but I don't have any to spare right now. A couple of Valkyries in here might be actually a perfect sub for this. Or maybe just a couple more DPS. But for now, this will do. Some minor repair will keep her in the fight longer. I'm putting these back. For now. I think this horse bow could potentially be a squad leader one day. Maybe. Okay, he's maxed out, right? Giant's Thresher. Plus 25 damage dealt to larger squads, minus 25% damage dealt to smaller squads. Okay, that's... That's weird.
All right, stop that archery dead. Yeah, I feel like the because the horse bow can convert into a cannon and cannons require a horse. It could become the leader of a future cannon squad, assuming I get the resources to make a future cannon squad. It's another treasure hunter squad. I'm just wondering actually. How much to add another unit? Twelve. And I've got five. Could really do with a tome of changing that guy to light. She's really in the wrong squad. That should make getting in and chilling these guys to death easier. How much to add a unit? 15. Is that possible? Maybe? 6. And 4 is 10. don't think I have the necessary spare cap adding artifacts to do that. This is doable. If I have a spare item that reduces cap, which uh, might not. I do want those dragons to level up though, fast.
No, I don't think so. I is larger squads like units with more uh, squads with more units in, or squads with more leadership? I wonder how the dragons feel about my use of dragon scale armor. <laughs> This is my first squad that's finished, I guess. It doesn't really improve from there. New squad. Filbert the Cavalier. I guess for now he can lead the magic squad. I guess this will help keep this squad from being destroyed by archers. Actually, I suppose I can add this. Reduces the defense slightly, but will make the spellcasters a bit more deadly. have a number of archers on standby. Yeah, nothing doing here. Um, the 
see if I can use the jade figurine to level it up by just getting it to shoot and then hoping that I get to shoot again. That should help with landing the hits. Okay, spare healing squad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve squads. It's time to put together a new melee squad too. Soldier Captain! She could easily become a, uh, she could easily become a, um, a Valkyrie and thus fit neatly into a, into a, um, uh, a cavalry squad. Soldier Captain is also super useful. I don't think I've got anybody with Soldier Captain. If I was putting together a melee squad, this might be the guy to do it. Why not? Score one of his Devon. Didn't know I could jump that high. <laughs> All this time I figured I was just a thorn in your side. Could have slipped past your watchful eye in a moment's notice. Been that way for years, you know that, right? <laughs> I suppose you were right there, oh Stefan. It's probably just another one of your flirtations, isn't it? Please don't play with me, you know how gullible I am. I mean, she actually died up there, I suppose. Only you would be so brave or crazy to do what you did, sacrifice everything just on faith. Only a miracle brought you back. I am done being your minion, submitting my resignation right now, effective today. <laughs> well, you are freer to go, of course, and I'd be quite disappointed. Can't be falling in love with my boss, can I? I figure either I fall out of love or keep doing your dirty work or I resign. Can't have both. <laughs> By the gods, yes! I would never see another piece of gold again if it meant you felt the same. God is so corny. Ugh. I'm not reading this out. I'm going on strike. <laughs> You 
climbed that mountain against my will. I chalked it up to your impetuousness. Can you blame me? But you just wanted to protect me. Only from your own foolish bravery. You are far beyond being my personal spy. Do I think I could fall in love with a womanizer? Of course not, my favorite paladin. Don't know any womanizers anyway, do you? <laughs> not anymore! I'm not gonna go around breaking hearts anymore, Stefan, do you see? That's what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> now that you mention it, it does sound like a real burger. Not quite how you use that word, but okay. Oh, Hey man, he died in the mountain fur. Right. There is a bazaar coming up. Um, so either way, I guess I'm doing the Platinum Arena just to try and make some... some gold. Okay, I'm going to say that's it for now. Next time we'll do the arena. So I need that money. I feel like this might be a good grab. Even though his leadership sucks. I have to put him in a squad and try and level it up. Or use medals or something. Yeah, I could put that guy in another squad and train him up, or just just make him a leader straight away. But anyway, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.